When I was 15, unfortunately, I was introduced to uh, crack cocaine uh, by an uh, older female friend. And um, that's when we started doing that, and I couldn't stop. And I kept going and going. And next thing you know, I'm 20. Five years have went by. And, you know, I said forget school and everything, you know, just threw everything away for, you know, the drug, you know. All this time I still knew God and I still prayed to God and, and everything, but I just didn't care, you know, how, what I did or how he seen me, what I was doing or anything. Like I was taking the God to places he didn't want to be. And I was tired, I got tired. I was like, ah, oh, this ain't fun anymore, you know. I said a prayer one night, me and my, a boyfriend who's still together. I prayed and I prayed. I said, God, if I can't, if I can't change for myself, please give me something, you know, that will make my life worth changing for. Do something, you know. And I knew I, in my heart that I've always wanted a child. And I know maybe a child will make me settle down and, you know, do the right thing. So I got pregnant with my first son. His name is Marcus. And unfortunately, I try to convince myself, okay, I'm not pregnant, you know, in the beginning, and I was like, I couldn't stop. I went my whole pregnancy, and for the, God was watching over, because the baby is fine, he's perfect. I mean, he has no dirt birth defects or anything. So he's three now, and every year he gets a year older, it's another year that I'm clean. So after I had him, they removed him immediately from my care my aunt and until I got sober and clean, I couldn't have any contact with my children. So I did everything they asked me to. In the process of doing my services, had another baby. And once I finished my services, my kids came home and I never touched that drug again. And here I am today. I'm just trying to, you know, bring my boys up in a better environment than I grew up and keep them away from that. From the time of I was old enough to understand. I always said, okay, there's a God. I pray to him every morning, every night at supper. But recently, I just wanted to be, you know, make a commitment to be here, you know? Because I was, I was with God, but I wasn't coming, you know, to church or anything, engage in any kind of activity. Because I felt like if I got baptized, then I was going to be a hypocrite. You know, if, you know, I were to sin or, you know, I don't want to feel like, I was a hypocrite for getting baptized and then doing wrong, you know? At that time in my life, I just wasn't ready to give my life to God and do right. I, I still wanted to be disobedient. And not only that, I'm, I'm saying like recently here, it took me a while to just say, hey, I wanna join, because I needed a better understanding of baptism. You're making a good decision because you'll feel better after you do it, knowing that you could go and talk to God for anything at any time. He's never too busy or sleeping or anything. He's always there when your friend won't be, when, you know, when anybody else is gone, he's always there. <laughs>